All right, what's up? You know, my name is Graham. I go by Spear Beats, and we're here today. We're gonna learn about how to make a beat video with Z Game Creator. I mean, Z Game Editor. <laughs> I already set it off bad, but basically, how it's set up, right? Uh, Z Game your Editor is something you can find in your FL. Like it's a stock plugin, uh, which is this, of course, right there. You can find that there. And basically what Z Game Editor is, it allows you to make a, any type of music video or beat along, music video or video behind your beat and stuff like that. So this is the video we're gonna use. And this is gonna be the video that, I'm gonna show you how the guys that I made. Is that Spear? So this type of feel, and possibly to have these in the back. Actually, I'm gonna let it play while I talk. But <laughs> basically, as you can see here, all I have is an image wall. I'm moving stuff from behind. Another image, a texture, and a piece shape, which is this. And actually, I'll bring it out. So this is a template I have. It's called a Bitty Beat Video Preset, right? And if I load up Z Game at um Editor Visualizer, it'll obviously come up like this. And when I load up my preset per se, it'll be like this, right? And my preset is just so when I upload it, you know, everything is like the same in terms of like the the, the position of the shapes and then my name and stuff like that. But yeah, I started off with the image wall and then another image and then a text draw. And text draw is basically like the spear beats thing. And then my Ulin Peak shapes, which is this thing right here. Ulin we're going to start off with Ulin Peak Shapes. Ulin Peak Shapes are basically just peaks that move with the song. So with that, you can literally control, you know, how much frequencies you want. So I can literally set this back to, to down here. And it'll only take in the bass. So if I go up here, see, it moves with the kick only. So you can use this to control the frequency range. Uh, you can use this to rotate it. I'm not going to do that. Change like the position of X and Y. So you know the X and Y axis. Um, X is across. Y is going up. And I, this is where I positioned it. You can change the size of it, obviously. This is the size I have it set to. And you can change like different things like the power, polarity. Polarity is like, like this. How short you want it to go compared to see whether I want it to be all the way down or just in one point. But I put it right there. I want it to have equal ground power, so how large it's gonna be. So as you can see, it can go all the way up or I can just have it the way it was. But that's obviously how I had it before. You know, it's, it's all about playing with these different things and stuff like that, you know? But I usually, the main things I'd say out of this one is like, you know, Definitely, I mean, the type of uh, peaks you want, because if I load up another one, let's just say I cancel this one. So that's you turn it off, obviously. And let's say if I add up another one, which would be peak shapes here, it comes up like this. So it definitely comes up different, but it's up to you to change it. So, you know, I can change this and it has a different one. Also make sure you can also change the inserts of it. If you have it, if you have the beat on like the actual file, I just have this as a one file. So it's obviously just going to move with everything, but you know, say I move the frequency range all the way up, it'll move like this, right? But I want it to be flat and then, you know, I want it to be flat there. See, I get there like that, you know, top and bottom there. You know, you can, you can change it however you want. It's all about playing with it and experimenting with stuff. But in short, that's the Ulin Peak. I can go back and, and you know, go give you a more in-depth thing on each feature of these. But I want to, you know, skim across. But that's Ulin Peak. This is Text Draw, and this is what I have for Spear Beats. And, you know, you use Text Draw simply by going to add. Well, you load the plugin, of course, which is go to Text. You find Text Draw here. Then you go to add content, go to text, and you type in the name you want here. And that allows you to use text spear beats right there. That's one cool way uh, to like 
you know, brand your, v- your beat videos. That was definitely something that I do. And then, of course, play around with it. There's a thing I use for glitch, which gets to be the, uh, you know, the, not the, the letters to freak out like that, basically. But I use saturation on it. And what saturation basically does is if I have no saturation, it changes colors like that, right? But if I pull the saturation up, it stays the same. But let's just let's get back into it. I want to make this to look like actual something you'd want to watch, right? So I go to images, and the main thing that I do, I think this is a hack for anyone who wants to make these type of videos, really, is I have a file of pictures, obviously, but I have just the white background that I use for literally all of my beats. Because from white, you can literally make almost any color, really. So I stick with that. And then I also go and find like PNGs. So I'm gonna use this PNG, of course. That's what I used before. I'm just making this over from scratch again to show you guys. And I load them up. So as you can see here, it says image SRC. That's where you're gonna go and click to find the image you want. And then it loads up there. Now you gotta make sure, like, let me show you. So this is the PNG I have here. Let's shrink that just a tad bit and bring that up so it doesn't interfere, right? So when I bring the, the, the so before I get into it again, this is lightness, saturation, hue, and alpha. I change the background. I actually like this color, <laughs> but I change the background. Um, I change the background and I do the, all the artwork in Z game. So I mess with these. I don't think I want to mess with this anymore, but like this is this is this would be an example of you know the color I'd want. But one thing I wanted to tell you is that uh, in Z game editor, it matters on the order of your effects and stuff like that. So say I move this because this when you do this, you can move the effect. Say I move this image here, then it's gone because then the wall is covering the PNG. But if I move the wall behind it, then ah the the PNG shines and for backup also I mean for context a PNG is basically any photo that doesn't have a background so you want something that sounds like that looks like this like a logo so like when you see those Rick and Morty and like those cool like logos behind those cool uh, different you know or like those cartoon versions of your favorite rappers those are PNGs and then they just have a background behind them that is custom made uh, after the fact so basically, when you do all of that, you have that, and then you just play it, which works like that. Now, one thing that I did in the previous one before is, well, you press insert, right? And you got to make sure that when you, I want this effect to be on the image wall and not this image, right? So I put it after this image wall, but then before the actual PNG image. And I scroll down here, and I click patterns. Now this is a cool thing because patterns doesn't take much of your CPU. Uh, that's the issue with like things like uh, scenes. These take a lot of your CPU away, and it makes it hard for you to one export the the video without damage of you know audio and things like that. But patterns is a cool way um, of just spicing it up. Like I could well enough just leave the beat like this, or I could do something cool like let's see a geometric pattern. This is just a random one, right? Yeah, let's see this one. If I put alpha, alpha is basically like how strong or prominent that effect is. So if I pull alpha all the way back, you won't see the effect. But if I pull it all the way front, that's all you're gonna see, you know? And say I do that, say I increase this, I decrease the scale so it looks like a bunch of big squares and things like that. Then, you know, decrease the lightness and then it gives it a whole nother feel you know like it's an actual moving beat and these are ways that you can customize and change your your stuff you know this is like I said one example I made one beforehand where it looks like this and then obviously if I if I add this oh my bad when I take this back you can see that it moves <laughs> Ah, my bad. This is okay, it doesn't want to work, but you get my point. <laughs> like, that's another example of what I had. But those are the main things. Uh, that's how I made those 
beat videos. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I'm probably gonna end up using this one though, because I think this looks cool. Well, minus that, I think this looks cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you guys for paying attention and being a part of my first video. More to come, and hopefully I'll be able to see my face. <laughs> but see you guys later.